Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and we are getting ready to do a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The overall energy is balance. All right, what you can't see, holding holding this orb here of enlightenment, but you're not really seeing it. Staying balanced, oh Taurus. Very powerful energy. Balance is a good thing, okay. Let's see, we have wisdom, okay? So balance is a little bit Libra. You know, wisdom is just that sage advice. Very much traditional kinds of wisdom that I see. Seeking and trust, okay? The egg moon is all about trust. So we have that beautiful energy for you. I think this is going to be a good reading. All right, so let's see what the overall energy is at the bottom of the deck. I also want to let you know that in the comment section, I do have a special holiday special going. I am a full-time psychic reader professionally, and I do personal readings, so you can check it out if you'd like to have a reading with me. Okay, so we have at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups, confusion choices options but not every option is going to be good because we can see one of the options here is a snake <laughs> we don't like that the mutual energy between you and your person of interest at this time in the recent past is beautiful the magician card manifesting one another there's a magic there's a chemistry there is a spark that takes place between the two of you that you know when things are good like the laughter the joyfulness you know this is all the four elements this is fire element earth you know water and air we have gemini and virgo energy so you can manifest anything through good communication and good planning solving problems your current mutual energy is very romantic Pisces energy. Both of you are thinking about what you can do to spice up the relationship. We have the beautiful energy of the Knight of Cups, a big bouquet of roses, a beautiful layout, you know, a little picnic spread here with a very special love note here with a wax seal on it, a bottle of wine, but a very nice planning. Planning and creating a romantic environment very Pisces energy very very mysterious magical sweet kind energy now from the standpoint of how your person is viewing the relationship they are doing it from a very intellectual analytical standpoint the king of swords is like a surgeon they can cut out that which doesn't serve it's a very sharp intellectual way of looking at things. It's very cool. It can feel very aloof, but your person is very fact-oriented and fact-driven in terms of what they think of the relationship, Taurus. So we have how they view you, the death card. So Taurus, we're seeing that your person doesn't know if you're going to leave the relationship or not. It looks as though you've gone through some sort of period of time in which the energy was revealed to both of you that you both had mixed feelings about the relationship. Both of you sort of have this energy of not being fully committed to it. So we see death and rebirth. Your person feels as though there have to be major changes in the relationship so that you can have a rebirth. We see a beautiful star there in the hood. You know, and I often like to say that the death card is much more like uh, saying, gee, I would like a new kitchen, so what do you do? You rip out the old one to make way for the new one. So it does speak to a lot of growth, a lot of transformation, but hallelujah, you have the magician card, you have all the tools, Taurus, to manifest this. In your person's heart space, how do they feel? They feel left out in the cold. They feel as though they just can't really reach you. They feel as though no matter what they do, they can't really please you enough, Taurus. We see the key. We see the lock. The person has their head down. So spiritually, they feel that you've closed them out, that you may simply leave them. There may have even been conversation to that effect. You know, it, it looks like when we get into this energy, there was a communication that makes your person feel very guarded. And uh, that is Taurus energy 
five of coins, I feel, you know, very much that you would maybe abandon them, Taurus. What, how they view the situation going forward, how's the relationship going to move forward, Taurus energy again. So Taurus, your person feels as though you need to take the lead here. This is Taurus energy. There's, you know, all this red library, knowledge, passion is very much apparent in the relationship. This is a daddy card. It is also the card of loyalty. But I would say this, there's another great reader on YouTube. And her name is Jackie, and she has Get Life 333. And she always, I've never heard this in all my years, but she really says, and I, I really resonates, she always describes a King of Pentacles energy as somebody who has created wealth, abundance, security in their own life, but very territorial over that abundance, feeling as though, you know, if they choose to give it, that's one thing. But there is... Um, sort of a, a holding back energy sometimes with that card in terms of what they're willing to share in the relationship, you know, how generous they're willing to be. They're very much mindful and territorial over what they own and have. So it does speak, though, to the fact that your person sees you, Taurus, as this king of pentacles energy and that you're going to have to take a step forward you're going to have to bring this scorpio energy with taurus is on the axis of marriage on the astrology wheel and they feel as though if there's going to be a major change that it might have to start and originate with you they feel your person may feel as though they've done everything that they could do and that it just didn't work. So let's see what the mutual energy is between the two of you. We do have the Sun card. Oh, look at that. The happiest card in the deck. It's Leo energy. Both of you are very sort of successful. I wouldn't even say sort of. You're both very positive people. You're both people who bring a lot to the table. You're both people that would be a gift to enjoy in a relationship. And in this relationship, when it is good, it is the happiest you've ever been, the most secure you've ever been, the most joy that there's ever been. There's something about the combination, whether, you know, with entertainment, with having fun, with the sexuality, with the security, with the communication. When it's good, it's the best that I think either of you have ever had. It is a mutual energy. So it really speaks well to long-term longevity and the ability to manifest great happiness with each other. Spirit is recommending or advising you to start over fresh, nice, a new beginning with your person. Spirit is saying, look at, take that leap of faith, you know, come back into this energy. It's Aquarius, Aquarius, use your intellectual capacity to figure out how to read the hieroglyphics. You know, the two of you look as though you've known each other a while. Um, when we get the death card and, you know, the cards that we have in front of us, this does not look like it's a brand new relationship. This relationship looks like it's, you know, it's been around the block, you know. We have the short-term outcome is a Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is a card that indicates leaving just feeling both of you and this is mutual energy because this is your mutual outcome both of you feel as though the other has stabbed you in the back or you know dealt each of you feel as though you've been dealt a blow that may not be something that you can survive but when we get the death and rebirth card it is possible Taurus you're going to have to be the one though that I think becomes uh, a leader in this situation so when we get the Ten of Swords, though, the good news is the worst is over and that you're heading towards the sunrise. And since we have the sun right here, you both know that it's possible to find the sun, which is a star. And that's what we're seeing in the distance. The, the sun and the, you know, the uh, star are the luminaries of the zodiac. So let's see what we have here in terms of... Okay, I'm, get, I'm fumbling around with my cards. Let's look, and we're going to clarify these cards, each of them, and see what we can reveal about the complexities of this relationship. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups card here? Why are both of you hedging your bets right now? 
Four of Cups, okay. So both of you are a little bit bored. The Four of Cups is a card. You know, when we're at the Three of Cups, you're enjoying a great friendship, a sense of friendship. The Four of Cups, though, says that you're both kind of taking each other for granted. You feel as though there's been enough unhappiness in the relationship, that there's boredom, you know, maybe a lack of gratitude. Four of Coins, though, says that you're both holding on to each other. You're not really willing to let go, but that's, you know, you're going to need to improve that energy. Let's see, what what's the advice here? Look at things from a different perspective is the advice on dealing with this. Why is the Seven of Cups actually here, though? What is it that you two are thinking about in terms of the relationship? Manifesting the relationship. You're both trying to figure out what it would take. You're both trying to figure out what to do. So it does, the good news is it's very strong because it doesn't look like you're wanting to choose a different person. It looks like, and this is Taurus energy again, it looks like you're really trying to figure out what are the solutions to some of these problems that we're seeing here and how do you manifest it. But looking at things from the different perspective or the perspective of a lover is going to be uh, enriching to both of you using that wisdom staying in that balance and trusting that your person truly loves you because it does look like you love each other a tremendous amount we see the magician card tell us about the magician why is it here heart of wands aries queen all right very fiery very passionate very desirable uh, energy here so you may be dealing with an aries sun moon rising or venus it, it's definitely a card of magic, one of great passion with that wand. All right, with the two of swords, okay. So some of you, some of what you're learning right now is to ignore or don't get overly weighed down by things that um, have been arguments in the past. When we get the two of swords, it's like you have this, you've come to a, an impasse and it is weighing on the relationship but the innocence of cups a page of cups some sweetness really helps you know it helps you i think uh, benjamin franklin who was a founding father of the united states used to say uh, get married with your eyes wide open and half closed after that meaning that you need to ignore some of the smaller transgressions in a relationship or marriage to make it last the two of coins i like it reversed not juggling both of you know what you want, and you both want to manifest this relationship. I like that as a reversal. Not juggling two. Neither of you are juggling another lover with, you know, a lover from whatever. I don't even remember that saying. Oh, it's mother. For a brother from another mother. I Whatever that is. Anyway, I'm being silly. So, we have the Page of Swords. Both of you are very much watching each other on the internet. You know, you're spying. Both of you are still feeling quite possessive here with that Four of Coins. We see the energy of the Page of Swords. You know, messages going back and forth. Might even be romantic messages coming in here. The Spirit of Wands. I love to see a good king. So now we have the Leo energy of the Leo King with the Sun card, Leo energy. Both of you, I think, are very proud, fiery people in your own right, regardless of your, your sun signs. I feel as though both of you have passion for one another. There's a desire for sweetness, so that's a great energy. It's a leadership energy. And we have the Lover's card. The two of you are soulmates. That's Gemini energy. So there is the ability when the two of you really decide to pull together as a team, you're really quite powerful. The lover's energy is a soulmate energy. The ability to really talk things through, the ability to get on the same page, and the ability to look at things from a different perspective. You know, it's Gemini's very open-minded. Uh, both of you tend to be open-minded spirits uh, by and large, and that's going to really make the difference in whether this relationship prospers, you know. Why is a death card here? Oh, wow. That is the best card that you could have received. Out of this card, this deck of 79, traditional deck is 78, 
But this deck has this card, is the 79th card. This is the Twin Flame card. This means that you've come together in a journey in love to join your souls back together and to transform the butterfly here, the star here, the death and rebirth, that you are here in this mission on earth to come together and to mend your wounded hearts from past lives and it is a time of being able to transcend. It is the 1111 card. It's number 22. It's the only one, it's the only deck I own with a specific twin flame card that isn't an oracle deck. The Five of Cups says that there are apologies that will be made and at least mistakes that will not be repeated because both of you have clarity. Both of you are choosing each other. The spirit of swords, you're trying to stay cool, calm, and collected over here. And both of you are up in your head. You don't want to lose each other because that's what's going to happen if you don't, if you don't keep your balance, if you don't, if you don't stay in a wise, trusting energy. So it says that you have all the power to manifest and to continue and to really improve this relationship. The five of coins is clarified by truth, justice, and balance. So Taurus, your person wants to have a very level playing field. They want to balance things out. They want to be fair to you and they want you to be fair to them. It's the Libra card. It's very important. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, I really believe that there can be no sneaking around. That It's very important to be in this trust energy and to know that you've trusted wisely is a huge part of the importance of this reading. I really get the feeling your person is trying to find their own balance. The Hermit card, they're keeping very quiet. Many of you live with each other, but it does show that your person is seeking answers from within in a practical way, what they can bring to the relationship. The Heart of Swords, Queen of Swords, again, Libra energy, trying to stay very balanced, very intellectual if they get too you know, when they feel down, they're really trying to find their path to do the right thing and to say the right thing in the relationship. Taurus, why is your energy here as the path forward? Innocence of wands, throwing caution to the winds. So your person wants you to make the first move, Taurus. Absolutely. They want you to give a sign that you actually want them. Uh, I do believe that you have spoken about breaking up because with the death card and the judgment card, that Scorpio energy judgment can be releasing someone. For those of you who are involved with somebody who may be in a marriage or in the process of divorce, it could be the simple uh, finality of the end of a marriage that somebody has been going through for a while. But judgment is releasing whatever you have to release to transform the transformation to get what you want but your person sees you as a person who has to make this decision you have to be the leader and they want to know that you are willing to give to the relationship so Taurus that is how your person is viewing the two of you like you have everything possible your person's very invested in the relationship and the Sky Father Aries energy again. I think you're dealing with an Aries who's very good at life generally, somebody who's very talented, somebody who has natural leadership ability, but they feel that you have to be the leader here. That's a card that designates you as the leader. So why do we have the Sun card here? Taurus, Taurus. We have it here. Four of Wands, the 1111 card. Uh, that is a marriage in energy. It's usually the bride and groom dancing under the garland and the white the Rider Waite deck, it's buying a home together, creating a foundation together. Fantastic energy, Aries energy. Heart of Pentacles, oh, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So we have the Capricorn energy. Both of you are willing to do the work. You do are going to move into this new beginning. Divine coupledom is right here in front of us. You've been through some tough times, but you know, long-term relationships. Uh, will always go through challenges. Nine of Wands, you're letting go of the wounds. You're trying to become happier. You both have fire in your belly. Look at that, the chariot card, honey, I'm home. There's something about a car that's coming into play here, but the emperor drives a chariot 
and you both are coming through with this energy of really wanting to make this work. I believe that, you know, when I get a lot of swords with that king of swords, I think both of you have said things that have hurt one another's feelings, and now you're being very silent, very careful, Cancerian energy, really watching your words, uh, letting go of the burdens, letting go of resentments or sharp words. The tower card came down. I believe it's already come down. And so what you're going to do now is rebuild the foundation after a period of healing is the way I'm reading this. So, you know, it's uh, it can be different than that, but that's really what I'm seeing here. There's so much strong desire and love and twin flame energy that I, you know, it looks like you're going to get that new beginning. It does look like there was somebody who's a little bit sneaky, somebody who isn't really clearly you know a person who tells all the truth but the death card it still looms here there's still a risk to this relationship again the butterfly energy is here but it does say that if the seven of swords energy continues there will be a death in this relationship if there's any big surprises or really big knockdown drag out fights that's what I see. When I see the tower card, it's usually the lightning strike of saying of somebody saying something. So the relationship is is sort of hanging in the balance. That's what I see, but you have the power to have the relationship you want. The three of cups again, we have the balance of the friendship that really holds strong. We have the not the king of pentacles again with wisdom so taurus again you have a big part in making this work and the trust card ten of cups happily ever after so you have this powerhouse relationship but both of you are leaders and i think sometimes you have a tendency to bump heads so that is what i have for you taurus it's been a joy sending you love from chicago since i'm back and tell me where you're watching the video from um, thanks so much. Hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.